Hi guys, welcome to the show today. This is Theo Juliet. Today I have Angel. She is the owner CEO of Pretty Angel. Hello Angel, how are you? Doing? I'm fine, thanks. Nice to have us today and to share your story with us. So Angel, when did you come to Canada and what led you to opening up you know, a salon? Okay, so I'm living in Canada for eight years, almost nine years now, and I have a passion for hair and beauty. Yeah. So my sister is a hairstylist and she's way older than me. So when I'm nine, she's always teaching me how to plait. So I make my own customer, my first customer when I'm age 13. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then I went to beauty school when I'm 16, graduated when I'm 17. And mm -hmm. I'm in my 40s, so you can check all those oh, years. Yeah, so I'm so a certified hair stylist for over 20 something years. That's a wealth of experience you have there. Thank you. So, coming to Canada, did you, you know, get a different certification or you just I use do. what you have? Yeah, okay. I do. I, I love to be certified in all areas. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that I do that yeah. I, I'm not certified into. Okay. So, yeah, when I came to Canada, mm -hmm. I get certified as a hair stylist. Um, a red seal hair stylist. I started in Ontario, um, oh. Brampton. Yeah. Own a store there for five years before I moved here. And now I have this store, one here, open like to this date, like mm -hmm. it's one year. So, beauty is my passion. <laughs> <laughs> you, this location is just a year, and you also have one in Brampton. Yes. What is the biggest challenge? You know, owning a business in Canada. Okay, so the biggest problem I have is sometimes the customers um, with the culture mm -hmm. most times we're not different. so yeah the support is not there which which I can say I have good experience with some people mm -hmm. bad experience with some people but I'm I'm not really talking about the hair styling part or the nails part or yeah. whatever I'm talking about like the the beauty products, the product line, right? Yeah. Most people like they will more support other culture that sell ear products more than yeah, a black person. People. I even have someone that questioned me, asked me, where do you get your products from? And oh. I'm like, the same place that the other persons mm -hmm. get but their products yeah. from. And they're like, oh. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, um, do you have, do you kind of style for let's say hispanic korean yes style. i can do every ear type okay. I, yeah and i've done that before and i've done every ear type in my life wow. to be honest i work in <laughs> salons all over the cayman islands here in canada in jamaica i do every ear type oh nice yeah so what are the services you provide i can see a session for pedicure manicure you yeah do so i that? provide um nail services ear services um beauty supply i even sell like cultural stuff like these are like jamaica jamaica culture where are you originally from i'm from jamaica oh nice yes, so i sell like <laughs> jamaica culture stuff jamaican t-shirts like yeah. all different anything yeah, that culture brings a like, variety of stuff not just only mm -hmm. um beauty products but I have other things too as well and when I go like my pop-up shops outside um, and go to the market I have different set of products for that too as well yeah and I also make natural products like this castor oil is my natural um, black castor oil it's Jamaica so it, it it's bottled underneath my company name but i get this directly pure organic so this from is your Jamaica. product yeah oh. and this is the, my turmeric scalp are my best seller so what does that do to the scalp this actually like for itching dry scalp um ear growth mm -hmm. moisturize yeah yeah so it has so, a lot of benefit and turmeric is an antioxidant that actually have a lot of benefit to the skin and the hair. Mm -hmm. and this is an argan oil. Wow. And then I have like my turmeric body butter, which like if you have like psoriasis, um, any um, skin, skin condition, disease, yeah. not really disease, but like any skin condition like eczema, psoriasis, it actually helps to calm it. It doesn't treat it. It yeah, helps it calms, calms, it, yeah. calms it. Yeah. 
and then here I have like my turmeric. Turmeric is my passion. <laughs> you so I make it. like a whole oh, bunch your products of turmeric. Yes, yeah, so yeah. not all, but this is a turmeric lemon first action and then body lotion. Very good recommendation I get on. So this. can we find this in any other store or you just the only now, it's, distributor? No, it's, yeah, it's only by me. Um, I don't want to put them my products out there um, in other stores when I don't get it like approved. So okay. I'm in that process to mm -hmm. get them approved so I can sell them anywhere. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. go to the beauty store in the future and you're gonna find pretty Angel products okay. there. So that's what I'm working on and this is a leave-in um, detangling conditioner. Yeah, for so kids. So for now I'm home with my product making, I'm home based. I make them from home. Yeah, with yeah. natural products. With natural products. Mm -hmm. So I have like my turmeric um, lemon soap that I make from home and I have like the turmeric lavender soap that I make from, from home. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I also see you have some wigs. Do you make this yourself, yourself as well? Um, Some of them. Okay. Yeah, some of them, but not all of them. Oh, nice. Yeah. I have so much passion for hair. I wanna, I wanna fit all areas when yeah. it comes to hair, and the only part that I don't fit in is the barbering type, like to cut every type of hair type. So I'm actually studying for that right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard thing. Yeah. So I'll finish by June, and really? I'll be out. Yes. Yeah, so I'll be cutting hair like every type of ear type soon like really doing like a barber like a female barber, barber. Yeah. <laughs> and that will be also be happening in this shop as well yes, right yes, yes oh nice yeah. is hair making creative in canada is, does it, is there money in hair making in canada yes it is everyone of their own customer everyone of their own style everybody mm -hmm. personality yeah. is different <laughs> you know so it, there is a lot of money to make in it mm -hmm. yeah so nice. how do you get your customers? Is it through referrals or most of my customers that I have is through referral. Okay. Yeah, because I'm new, like I'm here one year and so far I have a very good amount of customers. clientele and because I'm also a lactician, it's a bonus because I have dreads and I do dreads and I'm a professional lactician. Shan is the person that do dreads, that oh. know to do everything when it comes to dreads. So you get dreads. certification for that? I have a certification for that. I have so many certifications. in all I'm also a massage therapist. I'm a ear, I have an ear stylist certificate. And I have a microblading certificate. Really? <laughs> <laughs> just fine. And now I'm, I'm going to get a barber certificate. And I'm all, and I have an instructor certificate too because I used to teach hair and nails back home in Jamaica. That means all these years you've been in this business, you've been kind of improving yeah, yourself yeah. and picking on new yeah, knowledge. Yeah, and I have and a nail certificate, and I'm also um, a cosmetologist from Jamaica that covers ear, skin, and nails. I have an eyelash certification. I'm not gonna be like I'm gonna say You're not I'm a yourself. massage therapist yeah. but yet I cannot show proof of a massage therapist. I'm not a YouTube massage yeah. therapist. therapist. I'm yeah. a certified right. massage therapist. I'm a certified cosmetologist. I'm a certified nail technician. I'm a certified um healthcare aid. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> and I'm gonna be a certified barber too as too well. Very soon. Yeah, so anything I like I just don't just go ahead and say, Oh, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. I try to be certified in it. Oh nice. Okay, so fun fast about you. When you're not, you know, working, making hair, what do you do to, you know, relax and feel happy? How do you Relax. I relax with music. Music is okay. my passion. And when I have my kids, I have two young kids. I have two. I have four children. Yeah. Two adults and two younger kids. Okay. And oh my God! I'm telling you, they're all beautiful. <laughs> but the two younger ones, mm -hmm. they always keep me occupied, and they're so different. Yeah. So you basically <laughs> yeah, love so spending time with your family. I love spending time with them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, nice. Yeah. So I. Uh, when comparing business between Edmonton and Brampton, what would you say the difference is? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, if I should compare, I would definitely say Brampton. Brampton in 
Ontario, Brampton, Ontario, there are more diversity, there are more people, right? You, you're always busy. My store, they're always busy. There are always people there, you know, it's, yeah, it's right. really busy there, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's say maybe because you're just here, you know, for a year. For a year, yeah. yeah. So you're still building your clientele. Yes, so I am. Oh, okay. So is there like, looking back, you know, years, maybe 10 years ago, is there anything you would have done differently business-wise, you know? To be honest, I, I don't think so. No, nice. I don't think so, because I did own my own business in Jamaica. I did have a oh. beauty salon and there, and a barber yeah. shop, and a store, and a clothing store, and you <laughs> sell like handbags and shoes and stuff like that. But I have no regrets. Yeah. Moving here to Canada, Canada is more family oriented and there is so much opportunity here for everyone. Mm -hmm. So I have no regrets moving here. Oh, okay, nice. Do you like... The only thing I really miss <laughs> is the sunshine. <laughs> the sunshine and the cold yeah. is scary, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> so do you like provide home service or all your clients come to just I will provide home service if the client is in need of my service. What I mean by that, if I have a client and she go on maternity leave, then mm -hmm. I will go to you. Okay. And if my client is sick and have any form of um, health problem that will affect Living them from, from coming, coming there from the salon, yeah. I would go to them. But normally, I don't just do home um, um, service. Um, service when I have the store here. I feel more comfortable working at um, my store. So I don't really. Only as I said, if I have my clients and I have to, then I will. Okay. So do you do this alone or you have staff? Yeah, so I actually have two more staff here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that works with me. So if someone wants to get in touch with you, what's the best way to reach your business? Okay, so the best way to reach me is through my phone number. Mm -hmm. My phone number is 587-991-9836. Okay. Or they can find me on Instagram at Freddy's Angel okay. here underscore Y E G. Or they can um, find me on TikTok, Freddy's Angel on TikTok. Okay. And they can find me through my website, Freddy's Angel here and Beauty Salon. Uh, uh, no, Freddy's Angel here and Beauty, <laughs> Beauty Supply. Okay. That's it. Oh, okay. And if you need to book an appointment, how many hours ahead do you need to, you know? Oh, um, it depends. It depends on the day. It depends. It can be two hours. I would suggest two hours. Okay. It, it can be that Depending someone don't day. show up for their appointment. Depending. Someone okay. cancels, so it's best if you call yeah. and then find out if I can take you. But I have a website. Um, you can okay. book on the website. You can call me. You can book me through Instagram. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay, so is there any advice you're leaving behind for anyone who wants to venture into a business or anything? Maybe you want to be a massage therapist, customer, any business at all for immigrants coming to Canada? For immigrants, yes. I would say to them that whatever goals, whatever you think of, that whatever you love, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to come out and try. Yeah. You know, it, there's, it doesn't hurts to try yeah. to be who you want to be always try but i would i would tell them it's a good opportunity as i said canada is for there's a lot of opportunity here in canada so i would tell anyone that want to open a business that think about the business that you want to open make sure you love what you're gonna do because okay. if you don't then that's where your problem will lie not just to do a business because you want to make money do a business because you actually love it and you want to do something for your community or for people or to help yourself too as well. Oh nice. Thank you so much Angel for joining us. Please do like, share and subscribe and we hope to see you some other time. Please have a good day. Bye. <laughs>